We have a ball that's thrown upwards and after t seconds, its height, h in feet is given by this equation. Uh, one of the things that we'll notice about this equation is that it's a quadratic. Rewriting it in descending order, t to the second power first, and then the t's next, and then I don't have any number off to the side, so plus zero. Looking for what do the variables represent, the t is time, and once you plug in time, you get out height. So the points are time comma height. We know that something that's a quadratic is a parabola, so that's gonna be a, either a U up or a U down, because the number in front here, the leading coefficient, is negative 16. I know the parabola is gonna open down. So it asks, after how long will it reach its maximum height? Well, if we're dealing with a parabola, that's the vertex. So ultimately, to answer this story problem, we wanna find the vertex. The formula to find the vertex is x equals negative b over 2a. Our x in this equation is t, so I could also say t equals negative b over t, uh, 2a. Making those substitutions, let's replace the b value with 96 and the a with negative 16. Simplifying there, I have negative 96 over negative 32. And when we divide, we end up with positive three. Now this is the X coordinate. So if this is the X coordinate, it represents time. So after how long will it reach its maximum height? It's going to take three um, seconds. Now what is the height? What is the maximum height? That's the y coordinate of your vertex because that's height. So we're gonna take the number we got for x and substitute it into our equation. So here's our equation. We're gonna go in and replace the t with three. So instead of 96t, we have 96 times three minus 16 times three squared. And that gives us 144. Now you didn't have to graph this, but I just graphed it quickly so you could visualize that. If we graph the parabola from zero to seven seconds and from zero to 180 feet, you can see that at three seconds, it reaches a height of 144. Okay, here is just one more quick example. This time we have an aircraft factor factory and they're making airplane engines. And so when we substitute in X, we're talking about how many airplane engines have been made. And then C represents the cost in dollars. So all the points for this one is going to be number of engines comma cost. So if I want to know how many engines should be made to minimize the cost, one more time, we can tell this is a quadratic. And so a quadratic is going to graph as a parabola. The number in front of x squared is positive, so it's opening up, which is why we have a minimum. Let's use the formula to find our vertex. So substituting in negative 192 for b and 0 0.6 for a. A little bit of simplifying here. And we end up with 160. So that's how many engines for the minimum. And then what is the minimum cost? That's the Y coordinate. So we wanna substitute 160 into the equation. So here's my equation. Let's put in 160 into my equation. And then once I simplify this, I end up with $4,976. It did not ask you to graph, but I went ahead and graphed it just so you could visualize this. Here is a graph where it's zero to 450 engines. And from on the y-axis, zero to $2,400. And I've got my parabola. And so this is 160 engines, $4,976.